right, well, a very good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I want to welcome you to iLearn Review Live, and today we are talking about health things. Now, if you have an iPhone, it's likely that on your iPhone, you've probably seen something called health pop up on your iPhone once or twice over the years. Do any of you know the purpose of the health app? We're not going to get fully into the health app right now, but do any of you have any idea on the purpose of the health app? is to track your health and make sure that over time you get healthier. Now I'm going to show an app in tomorrow's class that is actually a very, very interesting app. It used to say I was going to die at the age of 65. Now I'm going to die at the age of 90 because I've used a lot of really cool tech and different things like that. And I've used it to, to lose weight and do different things like that. But there's something called the quantified self. Have any of you ever had a fitness tracker or a step counter or anything like that? You have a fitness tracker, an Apple watch, a step counter. I have two watches. This is my worst joke I'm going to tell. Uh, you know why I have two watches? Two watches. Because I have a lot of time on my hands. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's, uh, that's grown worthy. Yeah. But I have two watches, I've got a lot of time on my hands. But what I want to show you is I want to show you some products today from a company called Withings, or Why Things, or Withings, or Woothings. It's actually owned by Nokia. You know Nokia, who made the, yeah. the old mobile phones? Right. Now, Empires. as of right now, you actually cannot find Why Things products in Apple stores because there's a little legal spat going on between Apple and Nokia, but you can find them in Best Buys, you can find them in different places like that. And this is my second ever digital scale. Now you'll say, Okay, why is this your second ever digital scale? Well, because I took the first one and I packed it in my luggage, check bags, with Delta. This is a piece of glass. What happened? What happened to that piece of glass when it went in the check bags? I had 4,000 pieces of glass in my bag. No, I'm just... He's just, he, no, Rolando, he's in the video. He's, no, he can come. He's just in the video. That's all it is. I don't, it was focusing on him. Uh, but I had 4,000 empty pieces of glass. Now, this scale tells your weight. It also tells when you stand on it. It tells your body mass, tells your fat, tells all of that automatically. So you probably all have a scale at home. But this can tell the air temperature, my pulse, the air quality, my weight, my, my body mass, everything like that. It's from a company called Withings. And it has Wi-Fi and Bluetooth. You go, why, why do you need Wi-Fi and Bluetooth on a scale? But I want to show you this because it's really quite cool. W-I-T-H-I-N-G-S. And I've got this right here. And this will actually show you my last weight I took. I'm not shy about this. I am 196.9. <coughs> no, that's no, pounds. Wait. Wait. 196.9 pounds. But I want to show you where I came from. about 250 pounds, wow. to give you an idea. So I went down. But how I did it is with tracking. And I think the important thing is, yes, there were old ways to do things. What you'll notice is I have a big thing on the past, the present, and the future. So if you've got the past is, you know, you'd stand on a scale, and the scale would weigh you. Um, you cannot weigh yourself at sea. That's what I've been told. So you don't get accurate weight, but just for fun. What is this going to do? Oh, it won't. Yep. Oh, wow. I'm 121 pounds. <laughs> I'll take it. I'm 121 pounds. But it goes in and it tracks your weight over time. It tracks your fat mass over time. It tracks your BMI over time. And I am no longer, uh, I am no longer obese. I'm just overweight. I went from a BMI, I went from a BMI of 35 to a BMI. A much lower BMI. So I went from a BMI of 35 to now I have a BMI of 29.1. So now I'm just now I'm just overweight. But what's cool is the Apple Health app, which I'll show you tomorrow, has gone ahead and computed my weight loss and different things on there. So when I stand on here, it gives me my weight. It gives me all kinds of different metrics and everything like that. It gives me all of these different uh, ideas about myself. Now I can go in and I can see over time. I'm going to show you one thing because I want to make this very apparent. I want to show you something that I think is very useful. Do you see this spike in this graph right here? Let me zoom in. I was doing a good job losing weight. And you see when it goes back up? I went on a cruise and I got the beverage package. <laughs> a lot of people don't realize the calories you drink. So, but what's really cool is this is mindless. I never recorded my weight once. I stand on this scale every morning. The scale automatically transmits to this app. And then this app then takes it and understands it. Now, weight is one indication of health, but there's actually a much more important indication of health, which is your blood pressure. 
your blood pressure. I know a lot of people have high blood pressure, and I go, I go to the gym every single day. I'm going to the gym at 9.15 tonight. Why things also makes a blood pressure monitor. And one of the cool things I was looking at last night is I was looking at, over time, my blood pressure. And if you look at over time, you'll see that it's fallen. I had high blood pressure last night, I guess. But uh, it's fallen dramatically over time. And so has my resting heart rate. So I can go in and I can see all of these different things. So I can see my resting heart rate versus my blood pressure versus all of these different things. And what this does is this gives you a total picture of your health. That's the whole idea is that it gives you a total picture of your health. Now in the future, I think this is what's cool. I know that in the future, this watch is going to be able to tell me my blood pressure. It's going to be able to tell me my blood sugar. It's going to be able to tell me all of these different things. Now, I do not like to get political. I'm not a person that likes to get political. But I'm going to say, I'm just going to say one very good thing that I believe the current administration that's in power in the United States is going to do is they are going to eliminate a lot of the red tape that is needed from approving devices. Do you see this device right here? This is a Bluetooth blood pressure monitor. <coughs> It took eight years for this device to be certified by the FDA for consumer use. It took eight years for a Bluetooth blood pressure monitor. Think about that for a second. That's why if you have a watch or a smartwatch or something like that, what's the only thing it measures? Heart rate. It, and it can measure steps, it can measure sleep, it can measure heart rate, but the only scientific thing it's allowed to measure is heart rate because that is not medically, it is, is a medical necessity, but it's not medically quantifiable, which is what I find very, very interesting. So like I said, this will be built in the future, and I have a feeling when you go in the future and you want to buy some tiles for your bathroom, they're going to have something like this built into a bathroom tile. You can buy a weight bathroom tile and you go there. I know they make it already, it's just not very mainstream. You can build that into your bathroom tile. But like I said, this not only checks your weight, checks your pulse, checks everything like that, it also checks the air quality in your house. So it'll tell you the CO2 levels in your house. I can go in, I think I have the CO2 level reading. And it'll tell you the CO2 levels, it'll tell you all these different things. They make a whole bunch of different activity trackers and fitness trackers and everything like that. But the name of this company is Withings, W-I-T-H-I-N-G-S. And they make a whole suite of applications that do a whole bunch of different things. And that's what I wanted to share with you today was the Withings line of products available on their website, available at Best Buy. They have it at John Lewis if you're from the UK. In Canada, they still have Best Buy in Canada, right? Yes. So that you can get them at Best Buy in Canada and all those other ones like that. Do just remember, you do have to be barefoot. I'm waiting for the camera to focus on my foot. <laughs> this is a yoga pose, for those of you that don't know. <laughs> it's called almost falling. <laughs> but, uh, you have to be barefoot, and you can put that on, and it's very cool. It's from a company called Withings. We're going to take a much deeper look at the health app a bit later on the cruise, but this was just a look at a gadget for today in Island Review Live.